So this is the first day the whole month that I failed at vlogging but today is a bank holiday Monday so Rich is off work and we had a lot of stuff to get on with, a lot of personal stuff to do so I didn't want to vlog today. Instead I thought I would do a quick kind of Q&A with Rich because I know you guys enjoy those and I asked last night on Twitter for you to send me some questions so I'm just going to get Rich in and we're just going to sit down, I haven't got any like lighting or anything and we're just going to answer some of your questions and I hope that you enjoy that, I hope it's okay as a substitute to a vlog but vlogs will carry on tomorrow as usual and um, yeah I think Rich is coming now. Right to come in, close the door, I'm just going to set the tripod up, I'm going to do it on a proper camera just because it's easier than holding this one. Okay, Rich is getting in place. I'm just going to take the card out of here and ooh, out of this one and put it in here. Okay, we have kids like in the house making loads of noise, but I've just screenshotted oh. some questions. So let's just go through them. Talk loud enough so they can hear you. Have you I hope, seen the questions? I hope already? we're in focus. I haven't seen the no, questions. No, I haven't like properly read them. Okay. Do you, do, oh, I can't pronounce people's names. De, Demile, Demile asked, describe each other in three ways, three words, I guess she means. Uh, Let me go first. first. <laughs> Kind. Wait, you describe me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not describing myself, I'm describing you. Kind. Kind, genuine. Kind, genuine, and funny. Thanks. <laughs> um, me? I would say Lily is thoughtful, um, spontaneous, Ooh, and intuitive. Can that be one? I don't know. My feet stink. They do stink. <laughs> I've been wearing my Topshop slip-on shoes and they make my feet stink. I wouldn't touch them while you're on your oh. hat. You just put your hat in my hand. Ugh. <laughs> it was only like for a second. Ernie asked, are you two ever planning a trip down to Singapore? You've been? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Rich has been? Yeah. Rich, want your auntie? Kind of auntie kind of lives auntie. there. Yeah. And got a new explain. Like, when did you go there? We, me and my... My best mate and I went there 2006, just before we went travelling around Australia. So we stopped off in Singapore for five, four or five days, then went to Australia, and then Tokyo, and then the way home. I've never been to Singapore, but I would like to one day. Joyce Lynn, Joyce Lynn said, when you were kids, what did each of you want to be when you grew up? Oh my god. What did you um, want to be when you grew up? I think it was a policeman. That sounds Or like right. a spy. A spy, <laughs> yeah, that was it, a spy. Went from policeman to become a spy. I still want to be a spy. <laughs> MI5. <laughs> Hook him up. I wanted to be a pop star. I wanted to be a singer. Definitely, always. I loved singing. Okay, Sammy asked, are you planning on having children? And if so, how many do you want? And boys or girls? Ten children, <laughs> six boys, four girls. And what? want them before we're 35. <laughs> no, seriously. We both come from a family of like three kids, so that feels normal, I think, to both of us. Yeah, but I don't want three kids. I'm not pushing three babies out of there, bloody hell. I feel like two maybe I could deal with, but I'm like not... Some of my friends are like, I can't wait to be pregnant and have babies. I am <laughs> petrified. I have older sisters who have just put me off, and I'm so scared of that day where I have to give birth. And so, I don't know, but I definitely want a girl first. I feel like... I've seen what little boys are like. Uh oh, can you put steps? I've seen what little boys are like and I've seen what little girls are like and when they're little, girls are easier and I think I, for my first one, I'd like a girl. You? First one, boy. See who wins. <laughs> like the older brother. <laughs> yeah, I get, that, I get that. Okay, Charlotte asked, top restaurant in London? Duck and Waffle. Yeah, good one. I like Duck and Waffle. Yeah, there's probably places that got better food, more variety, but Duck and Waffle really push it they do really cool such simple things they make it really sort of um was it like not experimental yeah just cool and like it's an amazing it. view as well yeah ellie how old were you when you met each other 20 no 19 2007 so 19 yeah 19 yeah. just after our gap year first year uni mm -hmm. and we're now both 27 yeah zoe hi zoe i know zoe how did you find the transition from uni to work? I'm in my last week of uni, so any advice would be great. Um, I kind of, I was ready to get in stuck in. Yeah, we were both quite eager to start working, but it's 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 exciting and it's fun, but it is quite hard to transition from being a student and having like all free time and, yeah. you know, going at your own pace and stuff to working. I personally loved it, didn't find it that hard to get into it. I was excited to be working. Yeah, same. 
I'm trying Same. to think of any like tips. Just, yeah, just don't wait too long. A lot of my friends took like a year out after uni, and I think that makes it harder to yeah. settle down. I Even think if it's internships, it. work experience, just get out there. Yeah. Mix it up. Um, Emma, if you both had to plan each other the perfect day out, what would it be? Okay, let me do you first. We would wake up and have like a huge brunch, like brunch with like maybe like a bottomless kind of boozy brunch. Yeah. Like Debs and Paul had. Um, with like champagne and drinks and stuff. And then go for like a really nice walk. Maybe do like go ape, which is like this outdoor thing where you like. Is this swing based on what ropes. I'm like for me? Yeah, I'm planning okay. a good day out for you. you like right. swing from trees and like do activities. Maybe go for like an indoor ski slope or something. Um, and then go somewhere really cool like duck and waffle for like an early dinner where you can like see the sun set. Yeah. Um, and then maybe do go to like a cool like cinema like maybe like a 3d cinema and watch some sort of like scary film with action, action and stuff jurassic park jurassic one. park in 3d and then and then then some kind of like midnight walk over like the bridges in london or something or a midnight marathon a midnight marathon <laughs> all right what would you plan for me <sighs> this is hard um so again i would do it you'd like brunch you're a brunch person yeah. So we do a really nice brunch, pancakes, American sort of crispy bacon pancake thing. Mm -hmm. Then probably go do like a walk slash picnic. Then go, you'd like a massage. Mm. Then go for like a long massage spa place. Then say afternoon tea. Then probably like, oh, I know, you'd probably go for dinner somewhere, like a sushi place. Mm. Um like Rocker or wherever, I don't know. Never been to Rocker. Um, and then in the evening, what would you want to do in the evening? You mm. Get into my pyjamas? Yeah, uh, yeah. You, do, you don't really like going out at night time, <laughs> so it'll just stop there. <laughs> um, Peyton or Peyton asks, is there a song that reminds you of each other? I wanna love you. P Y T, pretty young thing. That is my song. Isn't... That's Richard's favourite song. Yeah, Michael jam. Jackson, P Y T. Yours is probably like Eagles, New Kid in Town. Yeah. That's the one I keep. I always think of. Or Stevie Wonder. Yeah. Gavin, what's both of your ideas of a perfect night in? Pajamas, tie takeaway, a nice film. What else makes a good night in? Um. Friends. We like to like have friends round. We're not really the sort of people who always like to just be with each other. We, we're a very social couple. We have a lot of like, really we like sad, seeing. It's really sad, isn't it? No, I think it's really nice. We don't like each other's company. We do, but I mean, we really we like seeing older, friends. We're going to be like, have our own beds, like our own bedrooms. <laughs> no, we we're won't. not going to be involved with each other. <laughs> no, we like to have friends around a lot. So I reckon Perfect Night is it with friends, takeaway, film, music, board yeah. games. And a good film, really good film. And a really nice films. dry white wine. Okay. Or cool beers. <laughs> cool beers. Rich likes weird beers. Weird Sophie beers. Sophie asks, what do you guys miss most about uni? Um, I enjoy what well, I miss. Can I go first? Sorry. Yeah. I miss the whole going out at night, like during the week with your friends and doing like pre-drinking, that <laughs> kind of side. I yeah. miss that buzz. Yeah, I kind of miss just, it's quite chilled out, like go at your own pace. Um, and we had really good friends on our course, so it was nice to see everyone like every day at uni. Um, it was just like hanging out with friends all the time. Okay, Sarah asked, who's the good cop and who's the bad cop? Oh my god, wait, take a pause for a minute and guess. I think it's pretty obvious. Good cop, bad cop. Always. Aww. Everyone loves Rich. And I was like, if I turn up like to my nieces and nephews without him, they're like, oh, where's Rich? I'm like, thanks, cheers. Super bad girl said, London looks lovely, but I'd imagine it can be chaotic. What are the best and worst things about living there? Well, yeah, I've, always, right. I've always lived here and I'm very pro London, but you are from the good old countryside. Country so I feel like you can answer this one. What are the best and worst things about living in here? Obviously, the worst things is the chaoticness. Tourism. Tourists. Don't like them. <laughs> you can. I get what you mean. Like it's in, hard. when you're when you're when you live in London, like walking down a busy street when a tourist like stops to look at a map, it drives you mad. Yeah. I can't say you hate tourists. No, I don't hate tourists. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I hate it when it's just like, especially when they're on Barclays bikes as well. Yeah. Um, what? I, so that's kind of my pet hate. The tubes can get tubes, really busy. Chaotic. It's always the tube is a good thing about London, do you? Yeah, you get around quickly. Um, what I do like about it is just, is, and I can't, I, I actually find it frustrating that I can't keep up with it. 
is the new things happening every weekend, every day in London. There's new things popping up, new restaurants, new bars, new clubs, new shops, just new things to do, festivals. There's always literally something to do and you just, you can't keep up with it. Yeah. So that's kind of a good or bad yeah. kind of thing. Oh, and then the next picture is of my avocado on toast. So I'm guessing Ooh. that's the end of the questions then. I want that. Um, thank you guys for sending us all your questions. Sorry that I look like this, but it's just one Same. of those days. It's just one of those days. <laughs> you always look like this. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it there. Wait, let me just come a bit forward to like finish this. You don't have to come forward. Um, sorry there was no vlog today, but there will be one tomorrow. Not that I'm doing anything very exciting. But that's about it. I just did my nose trick. <laughs> maybe I'll carry on vlogging, actually. The kids have just turned up. We're looking after them tonight, so maybe I'll vlog them a little bit. And I am wearing dungarees today, in case anyone wondered. Um, okay, so... Who, no one cares. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, wearing, I'm wearing a t-shirt Can, can today. we just pose for a thumbnail? That's my friend Anna. But her, why is her not talking? Why is she not talking? Because it's a photo. But why is why, why why her closing her mouth? Oh, she's doing this. Can you do that? Kissing. Look photo of me and Anna. But what's that? That's my feet. Are you in down on the boat? Yeah. Why? Getting some sunshine. Who's that? Rich. Rich. That's me. No, that's not you. That's my mummy. No, it does look like your mummy. We have the same jumper. That's me. Yeah. That's you. And that's Gaga's mummy. Kirk is married? Oh, yeah.